Hi guys, this is V from Valsheimer Studio. You can find my webpage at valsheimer.info. Uh, as you probably know, I make the studio art and content. I also have a store under the name Valsheimer at death3d.com. Uh, if you haven't heard yet, well, welcome. Uh, welcome to my website. We're going to talk about things you can get for free, especially if you're a Dev Studio user. You can find my freebies uh, here currently available three packs we are going to talk about the fourth pack soon to be published and available at valsheimer.info it's called rgb hdri soft lights for dev studio what this pack is all about it's a set of lights created and optimized for dev studio iray it contains of 10 different environment lights and accompanying light to help your renders uh, you can use these lights uh, in your DES studio. You can use them in external 3D applications by using only the HDRI maps. Uh, this uh, pack will soon, soon be published and available. Let's talk about the terms of usage. Uh, you are allowed to sell your renders. You are allowed to use this pack in your promotional images. The only thing that you are not allowed is to redistribute uh, parts of this pack or packing hall anywhere else. It will be available exclusively on my website. Once you download this zip, it's 79 megabytes big. What you probably know if you're a DES Studio user, inside the content folder you will find these two folders. You will extract them inside my library on content folder from where you use your DES Studio. If you came here only for the environment maps, you will find them inside the runtime, textures, Falzheimer, Soft HDR. Here are all the 10 maps. You can extract them to your preferred location. Of course, same terms of usage uh, apply. You can use them in your renders. You can use them to showcase your 3D models. The only thing that you cannot do, you cannot re-upload or redistribute these maps or any parts of this package. So let's quickly jump to the uh, to that studio and see what this pack is all about. So here we are back at the Dead studio. Once you have installed my lights here, uh, I have a basic scene already set up. This is Genesis 3 female, my girl Faith. Uh, what she's wearing, she's uh, having some everyday up to from out of touch, some Ian Soul shirt and trouser, camera, pretty basic. And uh, she has a sphere. This sphere is, I believe, shaded in titanium, so it would give us some reflection and my camera. Let's switch to that camera. Once you have installed the lights, you will find them under my library, Light Presets Valzheimer. If you hit this link, it will take you to my website, RGB HDRI Soft Lights. These are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, what you want to do first, you want to load the lights and you want to load the render settings. Uh, what will this do? It will load one point light and one spotlight in the scene. You can see them here. This is the point light. This is the spotlight. Uh, they are adjusted towards Genesis 3 female, so should work uh, with all characters, but you can of course move them around, adjust intensity and position per your liking and preference. You don't have to use these lights, so I've put them uh, to get better results with these environments. Uh, what render settings do? Basically, this is how I render my since you don't have to use them either. I always set my maximum samples to 10,000, maximum time to the maximum, rendering quality to 3 and converge ratio to 99. Optimization is always set to speed and uh, these are some basic settings for these environment maps. So environment maps are available in 10 colors, uh, starting from the neutral one, it's the gray one, and then red, green, blue as RGB stands for, violet, yellow, and I have four different mixes, one cold and one warm. These are tricolor environments, horizontal and vertical, so by rotating the dome you can see different colors. Colors will also show in reflections, and in bonus settings you have some more options to turn the dome on, off and on, and to rotate the dome to 60, 120, 180, 240 degrees, also to adjust the intensity of the dome, whether you like it darker or brighter in your scene. So let's start. Uh, let's see what these do and how they look like. I'll just show them through the preview render. Uh, as I already said, these environment maps are created from the actual 3D a spherical render. I rendered the, the scene, then I altered 
uh, altered the render in, into the HDR and colored it into these different colors. I wanted to keep them soft so you won't get too many shadows with this set. Maybe in some upcoming set I will make shadows more visible. But for this one I wanted it soft. In case that you thought that your eye renders are slow, I think it's pretty much with all of us. I'm rendering on uh, 870M GeForce GTX NVIDIA card. So yes, yeah, some legs are pretty possible. Uh, as for Fate, a lot of you probably know, you can see her a lot in my render. She is a custom character with custom textures and custom shapes. She is existing ever since Genesis, the first generation. And no, I will probably never sell her. She's not redistributable. So if you see her in renders, you will know the render is mine. She's been my signature girl and my babe. Here we are. This is the neutral environment. This one pretty much won't affect the colors of your scene or your model. Uh, here in the reflection you can still see uh, one plane. This is the reflection of the point light, although I have turned the render emitter off. You, can, you will still uh, see it in some reflections. You may want to remove it or move it depending on what you have in the scene. It shouldn't stand in the way too much. Here we have the red. We will go through all of these so you can see what these lights are about and what they look like. You can, of course, combine these environments with different lights. You can use lights to your liking. You don't, you don't have to use the ones included. You can use different environments with these lights. It's all up to your choice. This set is pretty much just to give you more options and more choice in your renderings. The violet one, I think, is one of my favorites. I don't know if I already said that. If you can hear the fans, that's my GPU heating up. People have asked me why am I giving this for free. Well, uh, these are pretty much my first environment lights ever and my first full set for iRay, so I decided to give it away to the community. But we will soon probably enable the donate button on my website, so if you think that I should be paid for this, you will be able to donate as much as you please, if you wish, not required, of course. Now, uh, these mixes are pretty interesting because they are tricolor in horizontal and vertical versions. You can see the reflection inside the sphere. It shows all three colors. What's interesting there, if you use the rotation option, you will see down rotation turning to uh, 240 and it will switch to a different color. I thought that would be interesting as an option. Also, you can manipulate between the strands. You can make these lighter and darker. It will change the environment intensity. As you can see now, it's 0.10 at 10%. You have values at 10%, 25, 50, 75, to 100, and 200. So there, there are pl plenty of options for you to explore. You can, of course, use, use your own. Is there something else we haven't tried? Let's try this mix too. 
Once you load the environment, the intensity and rotation will reset, but you can go back to the bonus setting and readjust how you like them. If you like this pack, of course, uh, like, subscribe and share with your friends. More comments, more likes, more shares, more freebies in potential future. I actually have another freebie already in the making. So share it with your friends. Let them know about Walzheimer Studio. Like Walzheimer Studio posts and contact me if you have any questions. Uh, you can also send me an email at valsheimer.gmail.com if anything about the terms of service or uh, how I work is not explained or you have any more questions or simply want to socialize. You can always find me on, find me on my page, Valsheimer Studio on Facebook, valsheimer.info, and of course visit my store at s3d.com slash valsheimer. That would be all for today, so if you have any suggestions, thoughts and opinions, leave them in the comments, subscribe, like, share Valsheimer Studio posts. You can get that studio for free at that3d.com if, if you'd like to start making 3D art. Uh, this video was made with Filmora Video Editor with Open Broken Software. Uh, pretty nifty applications. Thank you for watching, thank you for visiting and hope to see you soon again. Bye bye!